So this is a um, YouTube video showing you how to um, put formulas into Excel and uh, the um, formula that we're going to start with is this one right here where you the scenario is you have a ball and you drop it and what you would like to know is you would like to know is how far does it fall in time t. Um, and so the formula we've talked about in class is um, that that can be predicted with one half times the acceleration of gravity um, times the time squared in seconds. Um, and so one half of ten is five and so um, just to simplify things I'm going to write h of t is equal to 5t squared. <clears throat> so if we go over to Excel now, and uh, first of all we label this column with seconds, and we will label, we'll label this column, um, this is the distance fallen with meters, and uh, now what I want to do is I want to have um, steps in, uh, let's say, um, uh, 0.05 seconds and so I'm going to start at time 0 and for the next um, one I'm going to next time down I'm going to set that equal to the previous time um, plus 0 0.050 um, and so this is 0 0.05 that and I can then take this and I can copy it. I'm doing a control C here and paste this down and uh, now I get um, my time scale in increments of 0.05 seconds or if you will 50 milliseconds. So now what I do is I go uh, on the H column and I plug this 5t squared formula in and so I want that first box to be equal to 5 times the time value, and you have to go over and click on this, squared. So the little up arrow is a squared. And so um, at time zero I've fallen zero meters. And I can now take that and paste it up and down. And um, now I have my time, uh, my distance fallen as a function of time. So for example in a half a second, um, the ball or the projectile or whatever it is will fall uh, 1.25 meters. In 0.3 seconds it will fall 0.45 meters which is of course uh, uh, 45 centimeters. And so another thing you can do here is you can now take your data and so I'm just going to go up to maybe let me just go up to 0.45 seconds um, about if I go just to 0.4 seconds um, and you can plot that data by going to the insert menu here, um, which is uh, you click on insert and then you click on scatter and if you click on this you now get a plot of your distance fallen and your time is on the scale and it's possible to um, click on this and uh, change the uh, change the layout, um, add grid lines, label axes and things um, but those are bells and whistles that you can figure out on your own, but that should get you going on doing, using Excel to, to do uh, computations and also for uh, doing the computations you need to uh, build the, um, the reaction meter.